talk to him now? Yeah, I guess it won't make any difference. If he's going to talk at all, he'll better do it now. Who did it, Lefty? You're through, Lefty. You're going to die. Who were they? What happened to Joe and Louis? <laughs> well, they got all of them. Who did it? Rocky's boys. I hope they rot. Rocky Thorpe's boys. The man's delirious. Rocky Thorpe's been out of circulation for five years. I wonder. You forget Rocky Thorpe is still up the river. I prosecuted him myself. Well, he may be locked up, but this sure looks like his technique. Just like to handle those Bailey boys in that bookie joint a few years ago. All ready, Inspector. That's, That's all. All right. Next move. Take your hat off. Your hat. Next. Amadou, your hat. Ladies and gentlemen of the radio audience, this is about to hear. Quiet! Well, boys, it's nice seeing you again. Nice to see you too, Captain. Quiet! Yes, you fellows don't by any chance uh, play pool down the Maddox, do you? We'll take these three. Old Dapper Malaire, Tombstone, and Panatella for further questioning. Uh, have a cigar? Sure. <laughs> Hiya, man. Well, rather neat work last night, wasn't it, boys? I don't think we know what you mean, mister. I think he must be talking about that massacre over at that pool hall. Oh, yeah. We read about it this morning. Too bad. Nice skies, too. It's a good thing we was up to a movie, or they might have thought we had something to do with it. Some swell picture up at the E-Light, wasn't it, Tombstone? Yeah, one of them gangster pictures. Yeah, hot stuff, boy. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of handy with that thing, aren't you, Panatella? Me? No. Skip the preliminary, Sullivan. What's the beef? You've come a long way since you were a stooge for Rocky Thought. Kind of took over for him without losing a trick, didn't you? Didn't lose a customer, I bet. Hip joints, bookie stands, slot machines, everything. With a few killings thrown in. Listen, you. Shut up. You've been very lucky up to now. And you and some other so-called big shots think you've got this town in the sack. You think you've got to chop each other down to protect your rackets, do you? Well, the state's got a way of chopping down, too. You're going up to where your boss is. Good old Rocky. Is he still up there? Look, Copper, you're talking in circles. Lay the beef on the line. Sure, Dapper. I'm charging the three of you with homicide. Lock him up. What a laugh. <laughs> Come on. No hard feelings, buddy. Why, no. <laughs> Why, you... Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. What do you want here? You, uh, picked up three boys last night, Inspector. Well, you don't mind, do you? Why, they haven't done anything. I give you my word, they haven't. I know just how you feel, Phillips. What you mean is, they're really good boys at heart, just a little mischievous. No, oh, go on, Phillips. Get out of here. I'm busy. You're supposed to be a lawyer. You know better than to come in here. I have a little paper for you, Inspector. A court order for the boys' release. You work fast, don't you? One has to work fast to get ahead of you, Mr. District Attorney. Well, I give up. You bring in the right guys, and what happens? Sprung before they miss a meal. Now, we're kidding ourselves trying to crack that outfit. And if Rocky Thorpe isn't still the head man, well, then I'll do nip-ups in Times Square. 
How a man in jail can keep in communication with the outside, I don't know. But it sure seems as if your hunch was right. All right, turn him over. Hello, W9ENG. Calling W9ENG. This is W9ETD calling W9ENG on shortwave phone and standing by. Come in, please, if you're getting me. Hello, W9ETD. W9END coming back to you. An 80 meter band. You're coming in fine, old man. Go ahead, W9ETD. W9ETD coming back to you, W9ENG. How are you, Bill, old boy? Everything's fine here. We had a little trouble, but it's all straightened out now. That's good, Jim. How's everything working out? Hey, was that your outfit making all that noise last night? Yeah, I guess it was. I followed your advice and tried out those new tubes. They're a little noisy, but they sure did the work. Good work, Jim. How many did you get? I only got the smaller ones. I wanted to get the whole set, but I couldn't make it. I couldn't get the main one. By the way, Bill, I understand that fellow uptown is figuring on enlarging his set, putting on more power. Might interfere with our reception. What do you think I ought to do about it, Bill? There you go again, Rocky. Always getting bunt up at that guy. If he gets you so sore, why do you listen to him every night? Nearly five years we've been bunkies together, and I still can't figure you out. It's pretty late to be starting now. Sure gonna be lonesome when you leave here. Won't be long now, will it, Rocky? No, won't be long. Laundry service in this college ain't what it used to be. That's what you think. You gotta pay for Deluxe service, Pinhead. Kind I've been getting. Convicted on racketeering charges five years ago, Rocky Thorpe, reputed gang leader, leaves state prison next month. Pending the completion of his sentence, he is being carefully guarded against attack by his fellow prisoners, with whom it is reported he is extremely unpopular. I guess that five years hasn't changed him very much. He'll pick up right where he left off, if Maddox doesn't get him first. Maddox will try, you can be sure of that. He isn't the kind to sit back and let Rocky's organization take care of half a dozen of his best men. If it was Rocky's bunch. Well, it was. When he gets out, you'll find that he moves right in at the old stand. You said it. Thorpe. Relax, you guys. I come here to talk. Keep your hands away from that phone. You get me? Hiya, Sullivan. Remember my telling you nothing could hold Rocky Thorpe? And you. Remember my telling you what I'd do if you slapped that five-year rap on me? I know worries you, don't it? Take it easy. I ain't getting tough if you ain't. This is a business call, see? I got a proposition and you can take it or leave it. Well, it might be smart for you to take it. We don't make deals. If you come in on it, you both can go places. If you don't, well, I believe I got a little surprise for you. Satisfied, Chief? What is this, Sullivan? Meet John Franklin from upstate. How do you do, Mr. Lugan? Enough like him to be his twin brother. Enough like him to be Thorpe himself? Now, what's all this about? I'm sorry to pull a gag on you, but Franklin talked me into it. He has an idea. I'm afraid it's a little wild. It fooled the district attorney. Yeah, but fooling Thorpe's own men is something else again. Well, it does sound a little wild. What's your idea, Franklin? Mr. Lucas, you're trying to get something on Thorpe and his men. I believe the only way to do it is from the inside. Well, that's a pretty big order, Franklin. There's more to being accepted as Rocky Thorpe by his men than just looking like him. I've gone into all that. Why well, know the man's life backwards? 
I've studied every piece of film and every photograph he's ever had taken. Oh, Mr. Lucas, I've lived, Rocky thought, these last few weeks. I'm afraid I'm even beginning to think like it. Well, how about it? Do you think he can get away with it? He might. But that scar, they'll know that isn't a real one. Don't worry about that. It'll be a real one. Hello, Chief. Hello, son. How's it going? All right, I hope. Huh? Cigar. Oh. I'll bet he wears initials on his underwear. Well, you better get used to smoking them. Thorpe smokes them in his sleep. Huh? You know, I'm getting used to a lot of Rocky's funny habits. Well, here's another one of his habits. You'll have to get acquainted with him. Hmm. Oh, uh... Who's she? Well, that's Rocky Thorpe's girlfriend. Her name's Orchid. You hadn't uh, figured on her, had you? No, I guess I hadn't. Is the dog one of Rocky's pets, too? Uh-huh. Looks like they have to make friends. With the dog? Both. It's not going to be so easy to fool a man's own dog. I'm not worried about that. It looks as though you have to become pretty well acquainted with Orchid. She's going to be dangerous, son. She knew Rocky pretty well. Yep. Well, it's not too late to change your mind. I think I'm going to like Rocky cigars. The doctor's ready for you, Mr. Franklin. Thank you. See you later, Chief. Okay, break it up. Why, sir? Come on, Park. I'm comfortable. The warden's office. <laughs> hey, keep your hands off them checkers, see? You get me? Sullivan. Oh, Rocky. Won't be long now, eh, Warden? That's bad news for you, Thorpe. Pending further action by the authorities, Florida's asked us to hold you after your release. What is this, a gag? You can't hold me. We're gonna try. You masterminds take me for a chump? When my time's up tomorrow, my mouthpiece will spring me so fast it'll make you guys dizzy. I wanna talk to him, see? You get me? This way, Thorpe. What are you guys trying to pull on me? For your own protection. You're not too popular with the men here. In fact, some of them even think you tipped off the guards to that break they were planning. You don't say. Reports have come to me that they're out to get you before you leave here. Taking a big interest in me, ain't you, Warden? Well, I can take care of myself. All right, in there. Okay, teacher. I'll be seeing you, Sullivan. Soon. On the outside. He'll be there in solitary as long as you want him there. Yeah, but can you keep him hidden? What about your guards? No one knows the room is there except ourselves and the man who built it. He'll be all right. Thanks, Wood. Okay, John. Good luck. Thank you, Dan. Good luck, Franklin. Warden.
All right, Captain. What the teacher want, Rocky? My autograph. Your move. Hey, the blacks are mine. So what? I like the blacks, see? Get it? Okay, okay. The blacks are yours. smart guy tipped off the papers. Well, I knew you had a lot of other things on your mind, Dapper, so I arranged for the reception committee myself. Why, you bird brain, for two cents I'd... Get these guys away from Rocky. Come on. So long, lifers. You'll be reading about me. Yeah, in the funeral notice. How about a statement, Rocky? Yeah. Where do you go from here, Rocky? 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 Not this way. Hello, Tombstone. You're looking swell, Rocky. Yeah, just like the day you went in. Let me get another. Hey, now, boy. Give us a break. Hey, boy. Great to see you. Same old Pam. Let's go. Hey, come, come on, Rocky. Come on, Rocky. Get this way. Come on, get this Come on, Rocky. Come on, Rocky. Come on, Rocky. Come on, Rocky. How's that for a gag, Rocky? Just like old times, eh? Come on, get going. Gee, boss, you ain't lost your touch at all. Come on. Been a long while, Rocky. I'll be making up for it. Don't worry, boss. We ain't been losing any time. Everything's been handled, just like you've been telling us right along. That reminds me. Remember that last message you sent? Yeah. You didn't figure it could read two ways. Which way did you mean? Forget it. It's gonna be a new deal from now on. Hey, Dapper, ain't that car behind one of Maddox? Slow down and let him come up even. We'll throw a little party for him. Wait a minute, I'm running the show now. Step on it. Start blasting, Rocky. No fireworks. I got other plans for Manic. Now, slam on your brakes. You finally caught up with us, Neely. How do you like it? Honest, Dapper. We didn't know that was your car up ahead. No, nah, you hoped it was our hoist. No, we were trying to shake off some speed cops. They're right behind. <laughs> shake that off. Why don't you learn how to drive? Get busy and help straighten out them fenders. Hello, Neely. Too bad Maddox ain't with you. Understand he wants to see me. Well, I want to see him. In the morgue. Shut up, you. I can't do business on those stiffs. And I want to do business, see? Get me? You mean business? Yeah, business. Dollars and cents. No more of this cowboy stuff. I'm gonna be at the truck tonight at 9 o'clock, and I want him there. If he don't show, I'm coming after him, see? You want we should tell him that? Yeah, you tell him that straight from Rocky Thorpe. Let him go, boys. Well, how do you like that? Rocky's letting him get out alive. Yeah. It's a wonder he didn't give me a five spot. I gotta hand it to you, Rocky, using them for a build-up so we could get Maddox over there. Don't and... get me wrong, Dapper, I'm leveling. From now on, the rough stuff's out. 
What's the idea, Rocky? Told you guys I had other plans. There's no percentage in battling a guy when you can make a deal with him. You didn't think that way a month ago when you sent word to start shoving Maddock around. What changed your mind? Do I have to give reasons to you guys? Since when are you telling me how to run my racket? Now, you don't have to get sore about it, Rocky. Listen, you birds. What do you think I was doing when I was up there? I was doing some heavy thinking, see? The college I went to is one place that smartened you up. Yeah, that's my trouble. No education. Now, if I only had your opportunity... Shut up. Thanks, boys. That's a knockout. Hiya, fellas. Hi, Hi Rocky. Rocky. Hello, Charlie. Glad to see you back, sir. Am I glad to be back after five years in the piano box? Hey, where's the king? Al Benson's taking him for a walk in the park, sir. Al's a new boy, Rocky, but he's all right. Yeah, he'd rather lose his right arm than his chance to make good with you. Ambitious, huh? Fresh air, boys. That's what I want. Plenty of sunshine and fresh air. Hi, fellas. Where's the boss? Hey, look, King, that's Rocky. What's the matter with you, King? Funny, he doesn't seem to know you. Five years is a long time. They say elephants never forget. But then, of course, King ain't quite an elephant. Must be the smell of these stir clothes the state give me. Sure, a dog's memory ain't in his brain, it's in his nose. Bedroom's over here, Rocky. Hey, I'm all turned around here. What have you done to this place? <laughs> Dappers had the inside's interior decorated. Didn't you notice? Yeah. I'm getting stupid. So you're Al Benson. Yeah. I'm sure glad to know you, Rocky. I heard a lot about you. Want to be a big shot, huh? I'll never be the guy you are, Rocky. But I'm in there trying. Maybe you ain't in yet. But we'll talk later. Hey, Charlie, fill up that bathtub. When I say fill it up, I mean fill it up. Yes, Mr. What'd I tell you guys? Good boy. No wonder he didn't know me. That a boy. What do you wear, Rocky? Let's try that light gray one. Yeah, they're all new. Dapper picked out the materials himself. Thanks, Dapper. I'll get it. Yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah, sure, he's here. Come on over. It's Orchid, boss. Great girl, Orchid. Come on, you mugs. You gonna scram or do you want me to give you a hint? don't seem the same, Rocky. Well, I guess five years does make a difference. 
How's about a little drink? Yes, that might help some. Any medicine? Mm -hmm. Same as usual. My taste don't change very much, you know. Yeah, sure. To us? Sure, kid, to us. Rocky, it's bourbon. Yeah, it ain't bad, either, is it? I've been waiting a long time for this. I still don't like bourbon. Oh, I forgot. What do you have? The same as always, scotch. Now do you remember? Sure I do. something wrong. Forget it, kid. I got a lot of things in my mind. For instance? Well, I never did tell you my troubles, did I? No, but you always used to forget them with me. Look, kid. You run along home and get yourself dolled up. We go into the truck tonight, just like old times. Just the two of us, Rocky, just you and me. Well, I don't know about that. We get a lot of time to be together. See, I got a little business to settle up with Maddox. Maddox? Ah, don't worry. It's going to be friendly. I couldn't get Maddox on the phone. Well, maybe he's on the way. Give him time. Yeah, give him time and he'll have some of his torpedoes over here. Come to dressing room six. Now what's Maddox doing in dressing room six? Take it easy, kid. It's okay, boss. What's the gag, sister? Yeah, what is the gag? You wanted to see me? Yes, but I hardly expected you to bring your friends with you. Do you suppose they could trust you alone with me for a moment? I ain't so sure. Don't you want I should frisk her, too? Please don't. I'm ticklish. Scram. I wanted to ask a favor of you, if that's possible. Why not? No harm in asking, is it? Well, I don't know, after the way you busted in here. I have to be careful, sister. Maybe you ain't heard, but I ain't popular with some people. I can understand that. What's on your mind? Look, Mr. Thorpe, you're a big shot. You have your picture in all the newspapers. You kind of like that, huh? I don't like you or anything you stand for. What's all this leading up to? You've got a kid in your organization named Al Benson. Yeah? He'll never be a big shot like you. He hasn't got the brains. He'll probably end up with a bullet in his back. That's tough. Al's your boyfriend, huh? No. My brother. Oh. He can't be very important to you. I wanted to ask you to get rid of him. Sit down. I'll think it over. Rocky won't be back for a while. Then it was Maddox. It's a dame. What she want? Your guess is as good as mine. Rocky acts kind of funny, doesn't he? Why do you say that? Well, I don't know. He never used to look at any dame but you. That's life. You wait five years. And... I'll see you later. I want to powder my nose. You're asking a lot, sister. You see, I got big plans. I can use a good man. But Al's not a man. He's just a boy. He doesn't know what the score is. I didn't hear you knock. You're getting careless, Rocky. You forgot to lock the door. Got it.
seems to me you could do better than a dime a dozen torch singer. He might. But apparently he hasn't. Listen, smart dame, don't crack at me if you want to stand on your feet. I said cut it, baby. Now beat it. I'm sorry. I guess I talked too much. I like that. You know, you're the first dame that ever stood up to Rocky Thorpe and told him what she thought of guys like him. I could have said more. Sure. How about Al? I'll think it over. Thanks. Where's Orchid? She went home. She had a headache. Yeah, I think it was a red headache. Oh, ain't that too bad. Heard from Maddox? Not yet. She came for you, Mr. Thorpe. Remembrance of you, Maddox. Don't open it, boss. It might be a bomb. He's right, Rocky. You better not open it. Anna, tell her you open it. Money, Panatella? Here's a job right up your alley. War flyers. Thousand bucks a month for bombing civilians. Gee, it don't seem right getting paid for killing people. Then again, it don't seem right just to kill them for nothing. You haven't said anything about that other story in there, Rocky. Maddock had his laugh last night. I'm getting mine this morning. I'll say you are. I sent the boys over to let him know we didn't like what happened last night. Who told you to send them over? Who's the boss around here? Who's running this outfit? You are, Rocky. Get those lugs back. Too late. They've been gone half an hour. It's the second time this week you tried to take the play away from me. There's a girl to see you, Mr. Thorpe. What's the idea coming up here? Where's my brother? He was gone when I got up this morning and his gun was missing. Where is he? He went to Maddox with Tombstone and the boys. Where's the kid? Come on, talk up. He sort of got hung up. Quit stalling. Where is he? Maddox got him. Go on. We figured there's no use crashing the pool unless Maddox there, see? But Maddox don't know Al's a man. A kind of Al being new with you. So we're smart. We sent Al in to case the joint. But somebody must have had him spotted. Was there any shooting? Why do you think we left him? The Maddox cut loose at us with everything but field guns. Rocky, I... Hello, Maddox. This is Rocky Thorpe. Hello, sweetheart. Where are you? I'm still on the west side. Yeah, and it wouldn't surprise me to see a planter there. But never mind that. You got one of my boys over there and I want him. <laughs> now, what would I be doing with one of your boys, I ask you? All right, Maddox. I'm coming over there to get him. I'm going to have that talk I wanted with you, too, see? I sure got a nice place to talk. Here. Charlie, get my hat. Hold on, boss. You don't understand. Them guys are in the mood for murder. Are you crazy, Rocky? What does this doll and her brother mean to you? They'll get you sure as dice have spot. He's running this show. Stay here, all of you. I'm on my own on this. And you let him do this for your rat of a brother. Uh-uh. Hello, Rocky. Glad to see you. Here. The boys want to meet you, too. Boys, meet Rocky Thorpe. I didn't come here to be worked over by a lot of cheap hoods, Maddox. Who said anything about working over? Your crowd's a couple of wins ahead of our crowd, that's all. The boys just want to congratulate you, sort of pat you on the back. Before you start anything, you'll be sorry for, Maddox. Just one question. How long is it since you heard from your family? into the office and we'll talk it over. Right. Now, where 
Where's that kid? He's outside. You can have him. What did you do with my family? Your family? I didn't do nothing with them. Or just interested. Want to know how they was. Look, Maddox. What you willing to put out to keep me off the west side? I ain't gonna put out nothing. Now. You would think so, huh? Listen, Rocky, you're riding kind of high, ain't you? Don't forget, I just slapped Nolan's ears back downtown. Yeah, Nolan Kruger, you and me all fighting each other. Look, Maddox, I've been studying up a little on high finance. In big business, when competition gets too expensive, they get together. Yeah? Yeah. We got enough to do battling the law without fighting each other. And it's getting tougher. You know what's happened? Look, we used to have the county cops, the city police, the state police, and the G-men. None of them too tough by themselves. So what do they do? They get together. Yeah. Coordination, they call it. One big outfit. But they used to wrap us with one finger. Now they sock us with a whole fistful. Okay. Now what happens if we get together? Besides saving the expenses of battling each other, we clear all our legal business, bail bonds, witness payoffs through one office. We operate like them chain stores. We cut down the overhead and give us all a bigger cut. Ah, you're nuts. Them other guys won't fall for it. I'll take care of them. They ain't no dumber than you are. You go for it, don't you? Maybe. Hey, what do you mean, dog? Ha, ha, ha. Oh, what did they do to you? He's all right. Take care of him, Charlie. Rocky, how did you do it? Made a deal with Maddox. You know, the one I was telling you about. You mean you actually put it over? Boss, I gotta hand it to you. Don't hand me that. Get over to the office and pass the word to the boys and lay off Maddox. Okay, boss. From now on, we're working together, see? I'm sorry I squawked, hon. It's just that I was afraid, I guess. Oh, don't bore me out. I've been paid off plenty. I died a dozen times waiting for you. Okay, kid. I gotta huddle with the lawyers now. I'll see you later. Tonight? We... We didn't have much time to ourselves last night. Well, kid, I... All right. You don't have to say it. I'm getting wise to where I stand. And no man can treat me this way. Not even you. Dapper, get over to a good jeweler's and buy her a hunk of ice. That'll square it. It's her birthday next week. You're smart like me, boss. That's the way I always handle them. Give them a hunk of jewelry, they'll believe anything you want them to. If you want them to. Go on, get busy. I know what you want, boss. A swell looker. Scram. How's the kid? Banged up a little, but he'll be all right. Thanks. Don't thank me, sister. I wasn't thinking about the kid. It's just that nobody can pull anything like that on Rocky Thorpe and get away with it, see? You're a funny guy, Rocky. You got the whole town afraid of you. The newspapers say you're cruel and selfish. Who's your press agent? What? Who's your press agent? Who told you all that stuff about yourself? I ain't no boy scout if that's what you're driving at. Maybe you could have been. I'm doing all right. Yeah, I guess you are. Well, so long, Big Shot. And thanks. I mean it. Any drinking water? Yeah, it's over there. Relax, you guys. I come here to talk. I've been waiting five years for this, Rocky. I was coming after you, but you saved me the trouble. You're spilling an awful lot, Nolan, for a guy that's talking right into the ears of the coppers. What do you mean? Check the phones, pal. Your joint's wired for sound. You better have the boys look the place over. I got tipped the law was working here last night after you closed up. 
So if anything happens to me, they'll know who done it. Did you get that, coppers? I was just ribbing you, Rocky. Kind of got your go, didn't I? Yeah, you sure did there for a second. How's about a little talk? Sure. Come on in the office. I'll buy you a drink. Find them microphones, you guys. Tear the joint apart if you got to. If it works, it's okay. I'm in. You'll have to handle Kruger, though. I'll handle Kruger, all right. Okay. When do you want to get together? I'll give you a ring in a day or two if we get things lined up. There ain't no wires here. What do you mean, Dick Defoe? Just ripping you, pal. Back in there, Kruger. You keep both hands on the wheel. You've been giving me the run around for a week. Hard to talk to, ain't you? Well, I didn't get your phone call till this morning, Rocky. Honest, I didn't. I was just coming over to see you. Get back in there and we talk. Okay, Rocky, I'm in. Give me a ring whenever you want to get together. You'll be hearing from me. Well, so long, pal. Will you have a cigar? Oh, thanks, Pan. <laughs> Hello, Rocky. Hi, uh, Coppers. Not so fast. Headquarters wants to talk to you. Hey, listen, if you think a couple of punks Just like the you... checkup. Coming? Sure, why not? Back in 20 minutes, fellas. Okay, Rocky, I'll get that for the phone and mouthpiece. They can't do this to Rocky. What is this? What's the idea of sending your strong arms to pick me up? I'll ask the questions, Thor. All right, boys. <laughs> oh. Cigarette? No, thanks. Believe it or not, I'm beginning to like these things. Son, I wouldn't have believed you could do it. I haven't finished yet. I'm getting them together, though. Maddock, Nolan, and Kruger. I just left Kruger. Ought to be able to pull the old round up in a day or two. That guy Phillips is here again. You ain't got nothing on me, and you know it. Get out. I'm a paper inspector. I'll get you in here someday. And when I do, I'll be charged with murder. Then you'll probably need an attorney. I'll be at your service, Mr. <laughs> ready, Ruffy? I've been ready. So long, Sullivan. I'll be seeing you. Hey, you. Where's that mouthpiece of mine? Told you I wanted to talk to him. Where is he? Keep quiet. This isn't business day, Thorpe. Here you are. Yeah. Well, there you are. I got to strike for decent grub around here. I can do that, too. What do you think you're trying to do? Drive me stir nuts in this hole? Well, you can't do it. This is Rocky Thorpe talking, not some small-time chiseling con. I'm getting out of here, see? And when I do, I... Uh... Carter? This is my lunch, Carter. I stumbled over the... over the chair there. Yes, clean it up. Just uh, bring me a cup of coffee. Yes, Hopkins? 7558 wants to go to the hospital. Make out your usual report. Well? I'll have the doc look him over.
stop it, Charlie. With Mr. Thorpe going over the books again. Will you join them? Count me out. I had enough of that already. All I hear is... What's our gross annual take on the slot machine? How soon can I get a list of the numbers, agents? All I hear is figures. Look in you what I've got. No, no, you don't. That's not for you, it's for Dapper. What's for me? The special delivery. King, grab it. King, King grab it. that letter. Give me that letter. King, come here. Hey, head him off. Come here, King. King. Here, give me that letter, King. King, come back here. <laughs> King, you... Hey, Al, run down and find that letter. Yeah, sure, Dapper. Well, maybe it was bad news anyway. You're a great help. It was from that guy up at the big house. Well, what's he got to be writing you about now? Whatever it was, it looked important. You ought to know what he'd want, Rocky. Sure, what they all want. An extra payoff. Write him a check for a century. Well, where's the letter? I couldn't find it, Dapper. I want all you guys to have your reports ready. We meet at the truck for dinner or we go to the meeting from there. What's that address, Dapper? Well, anyway, it's our office on East 47th Street. We'll be there at 8 o'clock sharp. What do you need all this work done for? For the merger, you sap. The bigger business I can show Kruger, Nolan, and them guys, the bigger cut I can grab off for us. Let me have Sullivan. Inspector Sullivan. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Eight o'clock. East 47th Street. Right. Yes? Jim, we got it. It's tonight. Now I want every man you've got lined up here, ready to leave, at 7.30. Okay, Chief. Right. Hello, kid. Hello, Doctor. Sit down. What's on your mind? You sounded kind of upset. Oh, I had to talk to you. I'm worried. About Rocky. Well, don't let it get you. You know how it is. Been away a long time. Got a lot of things to do, a lot of things on his mind. Besides, five years can make a lot of difference. Not that much difference. I can't believe that Rocky changed enough to treat me this way. He has changed, all right. He doesn't seem like the same man. That's just it. Are you sure he is? What do you mean? Now, look, don't think I've gone crazy. But I believe the Rocky Thorpe you're playing with now is a phony. Take it easy, kid. Something's wrong. I know it. I, I feel it. Ah, uh, now listen. That's wild. I know Rocky. He's changed, sure. There's only one Rocky. Didn't I go up to meet him when he came out? I know him pretty well, too, Dad. We understood each other. I don't understand this guy at all. I can't believe he's Rocky. And if he isn't, I've got to know. You've got to know. Oh, there must be some way we could find out. Yeah. Has he seen that bracelet since he came back? No. Five G's he paid for it. I was with him when he bought it. He ought to remember it, oughtn't he? Sure. Rocky'd remember it. See you later, Arkin. What's the matter with you, Al? 
You look as if you had the weight of the world on your shoulders. Nothing. Come on, what's the matter? Look, Connie, I have got something in my mind. There's something screwy about this whole setup, and I don't know just what to do about it. Because I've got to talk to somebody. All right, I'm listening. Look at that. That's from the guy up at the big house. You know, the one who's been sending us down Rocky's messages? Well, if the real Rocky's still up there, this guy must be a copper getting the low down. Don't you see? Yeah, I see. I should have given it to Dapper when I got it, but I wasn't quite sure. And you haven't told Dapper? No, not yet. Look, kid. No matter what this fellow is, don't forget he saved your life. Yeah, I know, but he's a copper. If he's a copper and you tell, you know what'll happen. Well, if he is, he's got it coming to him. There's nothing lower than a stool pigeon, and that's what I'd be if I didn't tip off the boys. You make me sick. You've got a hero complex, but you're on the wrong side of the fence. Those guys are not heroes. They're just a bunch of yellow dogs who can't make a living on the level. Now, wait a minute, Connie. You wait a minute. You hate policemen, do you? Well, if this Rocky fellow's one, I think they're pretty swell. He's in there alone, and if he makes a slip, it's curtains, and he knows it. Would any of your so-called pals take a chance like that? Yes, they would not. They left you at Maddox and ran like rats when it got too hot. You talk about loyalty. Hello, kid. Hello, Rocky. Hiya, baby. Hello, Big Shot. Hope you don't mind my dropping in on you like this. No, I don't mind. But you'll have to excuse me while I put on the wall paint. I'm going on in a few minutes. What's wrong with the kid? He seemed in a hurry. Oh, I don't know. He's always in a hurry. Guess you got big business tonight, huh? He tell you that? No. He never says anything. He's a pretty loyal kid. Loyal to Rocky Thorpe? Loyal to you. What do you mean by that? I mean, he's for you. Who or what a fellow is doesn't matter very much if he's for you, does it? How does that apply to you and me? Well, after all, you are Rocky Thorpe, aren't That's you? That's what they call me, sister. I ain't so bad. I could do a lot of things for you. Remember that. Yeah, I guess you could. A real nightclub of your own. A classy joint with your name up in the lights. That coming from Rocky Thorpe sounds as though it had strings to it. Everything's got strings to it, baby. It's all in the way you pull them. For a fellow who did the big thing you did for Al, you're thinking awfully small right now. Okay, sister. Skip it. Guess I'm not the fellow you thought I was, am I? Well... I'm not sure, but I don't think you are. I'll be seeing you. Hiya, boys. Hello, Hello Rocky. Hiya, boss. Got your records ready? Yeah. Here they are, and I wish I could give you my headache with them. Where's Dabber? Huh? In here. He said he'd be along later. Thorpe. What do you know about this? I thought there was a phony in it, the way the wards has been acting. What's it all about? You don't know it, but Rocky Thorpe was released from this prison weeks ago. Rocky Thorpe? He looks enough like you to be your twin brother. Even your own men fell for it. Huh? Yeah, they've met him outside. A copper, and he's moved in. I gotta get out of here. I can't spring your arm. What do you mean you can't? You got your keys? It's asking too much. Ask back again. Anything you want. No, Rocky. Hey, somebody's coming. You hear that? I don't hear anybody.
Come on, get out. I bother you. Listen, if this is a stick-up, why well, I haven't got... Shut up. Yeah, you'll do. Give me a coat. Now, take off your pants. Oh, dear. Listen, I, I don't care if you take my water, but after all, I... Shut up. Stay where you are, sister. Sorry I'm late, Rocky. We better be getting started. You can take care of that. Yeah, I guess I'd better. Wouldn't be so good if this stuff got into the wrong hands, would it? I'll ride with Rocky in the first car. You and Tombstone go in this one with the rest of the boys and stick close behind us, see? Okay. To Nolan's place, Al, you know the garage on 83rd Street. What do you mean, 83rd Street? Gee, Rocky, I forgot to tell you. Nolan and the other guys were leery of our place just like we didn't want to meet in theirs. I knew it wouldn't make any difference to you. Yeah, them guys wouldn't trust their own mothers. Aren't you walking? Yeah, Rocky. Where's Dapper? Why, isn't he with you? With me? Listen, this is Rocky himself. The real goods. Yeah, I've been in store all the time. I just smashed out tonight. Then my hunch was right. Ah, oh, see, so you had a hunch, eh? Ah, save it, save it. Where's that copper they rung in on you? Call Dapper there and tell him I want that phony tied up in a bag. Yeah, I'm going right over there. Oh. I almost forgot. Here's what I bought for you to give to Orkin. I hope it's all right. What is it? It's a bracelet. It's about the only thing in the jewelry line you never gave her, isn't it? Yeah, I guess it is. Hey, that's okay, Dapper. Couldn't have picked out a better one myself. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. What is this? You'll see in a minute, Copper. Are you nuts? Are you Rocky Thorpe? Why, you? Seems like Rocky'd remember a bracelet he shelled out five grand for. You didn't recognize it. Put that rod away and stop playing detective. What do you expect me to do? Remember things I gave people five years ago? I've given bracelets to a lot of dames in my day. And I don't need any memory training tests from you. So put that thing away before I slap your ears back. You ain't slapping nobody. I owed you something. I guess this makes us even. Thanks, kid. Keep going, kid. And this is what I want you to do. Where's Al going with the car, boy? Drive and dapper down and get some cigarettes. He'll be along. Hello, Maddox. How are you, fellas? Hi, Rocky. Hello, Rocky. What's the idea? We get a message you want to change the place and then you keep us waiting. Sorry, pal, I got hung up. Well, now we finally got together, what do you think of the plan? Well, we're here, ain't we? Let's do business. All right, put your cards on the table. There's mine. There's mine. And mine. Orchid's on the phone. She wants to talk to Dapper. He ain't here. I'll take it. Hello, Dapper. Oh, Tombstone, listen. I just heard from Rocky. Yeah, Rocky. Okay, we split the total take according to the percentage each outfit shows here. You guys padded plenty. Okay, so did I. The total's fair. I'll check up on the details later. Hold on, Rocky. 
I wouldn't even trust you with that dope. It's dynamite. Yeah, better we burn those papers before we leave here. I'm the guy that's running this new setup, see? I gotta have it at my fingers' ends if I'm gonna do it right. You get me? Let's go over the truck and celebrate the new deal, eh, hey, Maddox? Be safe, fellas. Ah. What's your hurry, copper? Ah, copper? Yeah, they have Lucky and Star and planted the stick on us. That smug's crazy. You got that straight? Lucky just smashed out. He's on his way here now. So, you wanted to keep our papers, huh? Lay over that. I don't want nobody touching this pretty mug but me. Good looking, ain't you? I don't like your chin. Mine's more determined. Take a good look at that pan, boys. You ain't gonna see it again. Where's Dapper? I'll bite. Where is he? Let him have it. Wait a minute, Rocky. We better find out what he's already told the cops. Take him in my office. Come on, give me a hand. So, Copper, you know all about my business. Now you're gonna tell me some of yours. Fill her up, buddy. Nothing doing. Pumps are dry. Just closing up. Take them. The cops! Tell no one! Go on right through. Oh, he certainly made a clean sweep of it. I hope you realize how lucky you are, young man. <laughs> sure I do. Come in. Hiya, big shot. Get your hat. You're coming with me. What does this mean, John? It means once a copper, always a copper. What do you want Al for? Well, I understand that you need a witness for every wedding. Honey, darling, do you think you can stand for a mug like me? I'd like to see you get away. Let's go. 